Hey guys, good morning and happy Monday. Creator mom here. So I was just thinking. I got my hand on my chest because I was thinking about something. I was thinking about um, if you have to communicate with a person who... Like a narcissistic parent, okay? And say you're trying to go no contact or you're trying to minimize contact. You're kind of in that process of separating or whatever um what I've noticed is that when I'm confronted by them about um about them saying like because they'll pressure you you know what I'm saying they they're not going to let go um they're not gonna let go uh because they are like possessive in a way uh you are you you belong to them you are theirs and even if you have children that's their grandchildren that's theirs too they're like possessive it's it's all theirs um it's that entitlement uh, you are mine i am entitled to you i am entitled to my grandchildren so that's difficult. Um, so when if you're if you're on the phone to them, you're talking to them. They're not just gonna be like, "Oh, okay," like, "Oh, you don't want me around you and my grandchildren. You don't want me to talk to you." And my grand they're they're not gonna be like, "All right, I understand," and, and go. <laughs> that 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 ain't how it's gonna be. And if that was the case, if that was how it was going to be, that would probably be a person that you don't need to cut off because that's a person who like is like saying, all right, dude, like I'll respect your boundaries. Like, cool. I get it. You know, no, they ain't, they ain't giving up. They will continue to send their gifts and follow their rules and do what they do. But I mean, again, like I guess boundaries is is stating what you will do boundaries isn't necessarily telling another person what they will do which is I, I learned that last week in this class about boundaries that's not about telling other people what they're gonna do it's about telling other people what you are going to do like I am no longer going to be speaking to you you know um just like with the narc parent it was just like um they had told me, um, you're never, after an incident I had when I was at their home, they were mad because my children weren't showing equal appreciation for Christmas gifts. Um, that, I guess they received a few, maybe, uh, I don't even remember. Yes, a few Christmas gifts. And uh, they weren't show. they, they, I was, um, we were being rebuked because we did not, they did not show equal appreciation to all the gifts. They showed more favoritism towards the Nintendo Switch. It was more exciting. And, um, what the hell was my point? Um, anyways, I don't even know why the hell I mentioned that now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, now, granted, I didn't tell this person to buy the Nintendo Switch. The person asked me, hey, what do your kids want? What do they like? Well, did they want this? this that's what they like. I didn't say buy this for them. They asked me for what my kids like. I simply told them. So because my kids showed excessive favoritism towards the Nintendo Switch and they were not showing their grandmother enough attention um I was told I, I left I, I left uh, I was supposed to stay at the you know their house for like three weeks which is insane because I don't know why I would say that that I would stay there for that long but I left a week early I paid to leave early because I couldn't uh, my body couldn't bear being in the environment anymore so in the on the drive to the airport I was sitting in the front with her and she looks over at me and says you will never pick out 
their fucking Christmas gifts again. You will never pick out their gifts again. Okay. So first of all, uh, I didn't want to. I don't want to be a part of the gift process, but this was our toxic cycle. What do the kids want? Always asking me, right? Mm. Um, it was part of, how can I say it? it sounds normal? Like, of course, people are going to ask you what you're, no, no, no. This is, this was part of how this person can keep you fished and ensnared in their life by being part of this thing, this cycle about gifts, you know, gift giving. So, yeah, she's like, you're, she's like, you're never going to fucking pick out their gifts again. I didn't say anything. Just, you know, because I'm on my way to the airport. I'm just like, I'm about to be out of here. Like, I'm not going to, I just, there's nothing else I could really say to this person. I don't want to argue with them. So, you know, I'm like, okay. I didn't even say okay. I just ignored her, really. So, in my mind, I'm like, thank God. Because I don't want to be a part of that anyways, you know. So, um, <laughs> then, of course, you know, birth, they don't, they don't give up. So I said, I think at one point I told her over the phone, uh, please don't send any gifts. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, well, obviously I can't control that, right? Because she's not going to listen to me. She's going to send gifts anyways. So she contacted me again about asking what somebody wanted for their birthday. And I'm just like, I said, look, um, instead of saying, Hey, I told you not to send gifts, right? Because that's pointless. I know she's not going to listen to me. It doesn't matter. But what I could do is not participate in her asking me. I'm not going to I'm not going to participate in that. So I said I simply said I'm not going to participate in that. I'm not going to give you gift ideas. I'm not participating at all. I said you can send gifts if you want, right? Because people do what they want to do, but I will not be an active participant in that at all of course that did not fly well you know of course they were angry about that of course when you don't comply with them they do not like it so that was i think that was your text so that wasn't extremely bad but i was threatened i think by the end of that conversation i got a threat uh, from her so when you don't give them what they want excuse me <clears throat> they threaten you now I understand from a normal point of view that it could seem really messed up not having contact with your parents and withholding like withholding from them <sighs> well welcome to the world of dealing with the you know a difficult or narcissistic you know personality parent so not like a normal world okay so normal rules don't apply <laughs> um and you will feel like a bad person because if you're an empathic person and you like to people please or you, you like to cooperate with people you know what i'm saying like my nature is not to go against people or withhold from people or like you know what I'm saying my nature really is to be cooperative with people and that's what the problem has been I've been cooperative um so you gotta like Jay Reese said you gotta stop following the narcissist rules okay and it ain't and, and it's gonna it might make you feel a lot of guilt and like you're being a bitch and like you're being a bad person but you gotta stay true to yourself your inner self you know um and that's the problem with codependence. You're too busy thinking about being in other people's minds instead of being in your own mind and body. So I'm going to go back to what I started with in the beginning about being in your body. So I was thinking to myself, boy, I think that when I communicate with this person, I'm too in my head. I'm trying to be too intellectual. Like, no, I don't want to talk to you because you're, um, because I feel like you're being combative and critical, right? too much I thought to myself what if I said something like this what if I said when they're like well why can't I talk to you why can't did it up because they don't even want you anymore when you have the grandkids now it's about the grandkids they want their claws on them so because and I thought what if I simply said because I don't whenever we're around you whenever I'm around you 
I don't feel well. I don't feel good. My body feels unwell when I'm around you or when I talk to you. Or every time I talk to you, I end up getting a migraine headache and I just don't like that. I don't like how I feel when I'm around you. Well, 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 wow, that's pretty like straightforward. Like I don't like how I feel when I am around you. That's why I don't want to be around you. That's pretty direct and it's very um in the body. It's very like non-intellectual. And it's just like how can you know how can somebody bring you into an intellectual battle? Because if I start saying intellectual things like, "Oh, you're combative and critical and this and that." I'm I'm they like I think they would like that. Yeah, yeah, let's get into an intellectual battle and I could and then their response is going to be, "Well, I'm that way because you're that way." I'm that way because the way that you treat me and they're going to flip it on you. But if you say, I don't feel well when I'm around you. I just don't feel well. I don't feel good. It feels really bad to be around you. How 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 can they get intellectual about that? What what can they say to that? Oh, well, what are they going to say? Oh, well, well that's your problem then. or you're being selfish. Ugh. I don't know. To me, it kind of stops the mental arguments right in its track. Period. I don't feel good around you, so I don't want to be around you. Period. It's pretty direct. And it's pretty, I thought it's pretty childlike. Not childish, but childlike. Because children sometimes aren't busy having intellectual arguments. You know, there. I think that children may tend to be more connected with their bodies and how they feel. So I think that that's a really simple statement. I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, let me share this. I might try it. If I have to have the conversation all over again, which the holidays are coming up. It, it, like that, like I said, they don't really tend to give up very easily. So the conversation may arise again. But yeah, I thought that might be a simple statement. Plain and simple. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. And uh, if you have done that before or tried saying that to a narcissistic parent, how did that work out for you? Peace.